Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an image reveal effect on Hover inside of Wix Studio without any code. Let's go ahead and get started. So for this section, what I want to do is start by adding 5% padding to all sides of our section. If you're familiar with this channel, I like to do that a lot just because it gives us enough room here to have our content and a nice edge of around our content to let it breathe. Five is my preference, but you can go even like three if you wanna have a little bit more room for content. In this design, what I'm gonna do is simply just add a repeater, stretch it. Let's maybe give us like, let's see what 48 gap looks like. I think that looks pretty good. For the background color of the item, let's go ahead and set these to black. And for the corners, maybe we can round these out to like 48. Cool. Inside of this repeater, I just want to add an image. So I'll grab an image, we'll stretch it. For the corners, I also wanna match the repeater design. So we'll set these to 48, great. And then the last thing I want to add in this is just a little title paragraph. So we'll go ahead and make sure we attach it here. We'll make it a bit smaller. We'll change the text to maybe white because it is gonna be on a black background and we'll make sure it is centered. Now let's go ahead and change out the images really quickly. Okay, and then because I don't know what text to put here, I'm just gonna type in item one, item two, and item three, okay? And also you can notice that there is a slight line around the edges of the images. So what I'm gonna do is, I think we have two options here. Um, one, we could remove some of the rounded edge here. So maybe we choose like 46 and that seemed to have fixed the problem. The other option is to grab the repeater item and maybe even making this one like 50, something like that should fix the issue. Great. But now what I want to do, because we want these images to appear only on hover, right? So we're gonna select the image. We're gonna come all the way down to the bottom open up the adjust panel and we're gonna set the opacity to zero, okay? So now it is basically invisible, even though we can kind of see it here in the editor. If I press preview, you're gonna notice it's not there. However, when I'm hovering over each of these items, it's not appearing. So how can we do that? Well, what I want to do is actually grab the item itself. And if we head on over to animation and effects, we can drop down the hover option and press add. Now we have a bunch of different options we can choose from, but for today's tutorial, I'm gonna choose the custom option and press create custom animation. What I want to do now is select the image and I'm gonna move the timing window out the way. I'm gonna select the image and I'm gonna raise the opacity to 100%. Maybe for this text right here, we can set the opacity to zero for this one. That way the image has the main focus and we just remove the other dis the distracting text there. And once we are happy with that, we can go ahead and press done. And even though you don't really need to do this, I typically like to come over here to the effects and you can see it, our custom effect was automatically by default set to animation one. I like to just come over here and rename this to hover. That way, if I ever add other effects later on to certain objects, I know that this one is the hover effect and maybe the other effects can be named other things. Um, that's just a best practice, but maybe not the most necessary. If you know for a fact, you're only gonna have that one effect. It's not a big deal. But if we go ahead and press preview, now when we hover over each one of these objects, we can see a nice little fade effect and the image is now revealed and it looks really, really clean. I will say this does look a little bit tall. So what I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit of margin. Let's see what 10 does. Uh, let's see, is 10 enough on the top and bottom? Uh, probably not. Let's do like 20% on the top and bottom for these text. Then we'll grab the section height and remove the height. And if we actually grab the repeater item, we'll, we'll also need to remove the height from this. Okay. So now we should have something that looks like this. Again, you can adjust the height or design as much as you want, but that is gonna be how you create this really easy, no code hover reveal effect. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.